Hi, welcome to the demonstration of the user side of the bibliography referencing application. The front end is Android and the back end is SQL Server. This app basically deals with the Harvard referencing styles of bibliography where you can create and maintain your own set of projects with your bibliography which are in Harvard styles. The user is allowed to create projects in two ways, either by entering all the data manually or barcode scanning of a book. This app uses a third-party app for barcode scanning and the data fetched through barcode is added by the admin. Let's see how it works. Let's sign up. Let's create a new user. The user ID is generated automatically by the system. Let's enter all the details. So it says no projects to show. So basically here it will show all the projects that we have made, the user have made. So basically we have four modules here, enter manually, quick book scanner, my projects and feedback. So we saw the my projects module where the user has not added any projects so it's blank. Uh, let's see the enter manually module. So in the enter manually module. We have many fields to fill. Uh, let's enter project name for example let's enter first project. Uh, it will ask you for a source so whether the source is from a book or whether it's from a website. So let's say it's from a book so it will ask you for an author name let's say ABC here let's say 2010 title space the area let's say space publisher name let's say xyz let's uh, leave the day axis blank and let's create a reference list this is the Harvard style of bibliography so if you say copy so it will be copied to a clipboard and you can paste it wherever you want so you can save the project and let's see the my projects module and you can see the project displayed here with the project name and the bibliography let's add another project manually let's say our second project And let's select website as a source so let's enter a year the title let's say earth let's leave the day axis uh, blank again and it asks for a URL and it also mentions the format of a URL so let's enter HTTP www dot let's say google.com or like if you want you can add some more pages or you can just copy paste from where you got the link let's say we just enter anything let's click on create so you can see the bibliography format for a website link uh, let's say we save the project let's go to my projects module and you can see the second one updated as well let's see the quick book scanner module so it asks whether you want to scan let's click on scan so this is basically a third party app so as you saw as it got the barcode scanned you got all the details automatically Let's uh, enter a project name, let's say third project, and 
and this time let's create and let's say we want to save to email as well so we saved to email and then we save the project so my projects it will have all the three and as you see we have we also got an email here so as you select the email so you see your bibliography for the project name as well as the format of the bibliography is also emailed to you uh, let's see to the last module feedbacks let's enter the feed the feedback has gone to the admin so this is the admin module uh, for the android referencing application We'll enter the admin ID, that's admin and password as admin and I'll say login. So after logging you can see that admin has the options of uh, add books, view book details, view students and view feedback. So in add books, uh, admin can add books uh, by entering the details uh, like ID, book ID, title, author and rest. So we'll give the ID, that's uh, the barcode indicated behind uh, the book. So we'll enter the ID and say book name. So let's say the book name. So book name, it's uh, author, it's publishing here. Um, and the areas or the topic of the particular book and the publisher is publishing this book or who has published this book and we'll say submit so this book will uh, be added into the system and the uh, user or the students can use them by just scanning the book next we have is view book details where admin can view the Books present into the system with its ID, title, or the name, year, area, and the publishers, which was entered by the admin. Next is view students. Here, yeah, admin can get the details of uh, the students. Next, we have is a view feedback module where uh, students uh, send uh, feedbacks to the admin. They can give a comment or they can even say that. Uh, they want these books and uh, this is how the system works. Thank you.